the personality of us, I say, is you know, it's a bunch of young guys, so you know, we're all real hungry and real energetic. So I think that's kind of what he means. We always got something to say just because we play with a lot of energy. We played against some of the top receiver groups in the league so far this year. Like, what do you feel like you guys have learned about yourselves through five games? I mean, uh, yeah, we played against some of the the better receiving core so far, but uh, we just try to take off, of, take from the games and learn from all those games. Uh, every game is just the next game, just like all those games are over with now. So now we have to focus on the Cardinals this week and get ready for their receiving core. You know, just keep going on some of the confidence we had and, and some of the learning experience we've had and, you know, learn from both of those things. Thank you. Snoop. Hey, Russ. Uh, Akello had that impressive interception on Sunday, and he's obviously been, you know, playing really well for the secondary as a whole this mm -hmm. season. What kind of a resource has he been? Uh, not only to you, but just that that entire group with his experience and present. Uh, AK has been huge, man. You know, just because he's kind of the – well, not kind of. He is the vet in the room. So he kind of has that leadership and that experience. So, you know, when some things go bad, we can kind of go to him because he's got the experience. And he can – like how I kind of talked about earlier, is we're very young. You know, we're very energetic. You know, sometimes we might be a little bit too much energetic. We might get a little bit too high. might get a little too low at sometimes. And AK is kind of the guy that can level us out and make sure we're all even killed. Uh, so I'm grateful for him, and, and we learn, learn from him every day. And then for you personally, what's it been like just having an expanded role, a starting role, obviously, after getting some opportunities late last season to show what you could do? It's been it's been really good, you know, just getting a chance to go out there and show what I can do. Uh, obviously, it's some plays out there that I wish I, I would have made and some plays that I have made, you know, just like I said earlier, just learning each and every week, you know, just trying to go out in 17-game season and, you know, just prove myself. Thank you. Jordan? Hey, Russ, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm well, thanks for asking. Um, on Akello's interception, um, just going back and rewatching that, that looked to be so technically complicated, what he did there. Can you take us through that in detail of what it really took for him to make that play? Uh, the, the degree of difficulty of that interception, I mean, both of his picks this year are, are both ridiculous. I mean, they're, they're not routine plays. Uh, he's playing one-on-one -on -one coverage against A.J. Brown, one of the better receivers in the league, uh, and able to stay on top, find the ball in the, in the air, and get two feet in on a back shoulder throw. I mean, that's a hard play for anybody in the league to make, and it, that's not a routine play. So you know, he deserves all the credit, and he's been playing really good football. Thanks for that detail. Um, and then overall, as a group, when you guys went back and looked at this film, what is your overall assessment of uh, of where the tackling was yesterday? Um, some of those third and longs in particular. This is a whole defense and a whole. We just have to be better at getting off the field on third down. That's one thing that uh, has made us pretty good defense going so far coming into this game. And, and it was one of the things that hurt us in this game because uh, we weren't up to par, especially in tackling. Uh, we had a lot of situations where we could have just made a tackle and got off the field and we weren't able to do that. Uh, you know, they have good players and they were able to make, they made a couple more plays than we did and just learn from those. And can't have that next week. And then last for me, um, what are the learning moments you guys can also take from the late clock situations in those second quarters? A couple times, some of that uh, two minute from the uh, opposing offense um, has has seemed to be effective. But what what learning uh, moments can you maybe take from those situations? Uh, just just be better at situational football. Just as us uh, us executing the plan that the coaches are putting out there and what they want us to do. Uh, we just have to be better on the field at executing what's going on. You know, kind of understanding uh, what we can get in certain situations. Be able to make tackles and keep games uh, shorter than long. Uh, you know, just no things like that. Thanks, Russ. Gary. Yeah, you're still muted, man. How about now? now there you go. go. Okay, thanks. Hey, um, Russ, just wondering what's um what's been the biggest difference for you between you know last season kind of and and this season, just in terms of I guess preparation and whatnot. You saying for me personally, or like yeah, as for you well. personally, in terms of your experience coming in last year as a rookie and now the jump to a starting role. Mm -hmm. As a second year player, 
Um, uh, I mean, it's a big difference just, just from the preparation standpoint. Last year, I was in preparation standpoint, always staying ready. You know, I was always ready because you have to stay ready because you never know when your opportunity can come. Uh, but as far as this year, that the it's always on you and the road is on you. So you have to be prepared and you, you have to be ready. You know, some of the plays you make and some of the plays you don't make, uh, they have direct impacts on if your team wins or loses the game. Uh, so that's one of the bigger, th bigger changes is just kind of uh, the expectation and kind of the, yeah, just the expectation. Uh, I think that's really it. And it's not hard. It's nothing really different. Other than that. Mm -hmm. And have you had much, is there much of an opportunity for you to, um, you know, counsel or mentor the rookies, you know, that come in and maybe expect, you know, a lot to happen quick, uh, but they're, and, but, you help them understand that there is a process mm -hmm. getting to where, for example, you've gotten now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's something I kind of talk to them. I can give them experience about that each and every day. Uh, and it's kind of unique because I was just in that situation less than a year ago, especially coming in as a 253rd pick in the seventh round. So, uh, you know, I had an uphill battle coming in. So it's a very similar battle to a lot of them have. So they kind of piggyback off of me a lot and ask me for a lot of advice and, I think it's something I'm able to take pride in, be able to, you know, had to be able to uh, go through that journey the right way. Thank you. And we'll wrap with Jordan. I said I had one more, but I actually have one more. <laughs> um, Russ, how would you describe Jordan Fuller? Uh, Jordan Fuller, he, he's a leader, man. Uh, you know, he's he's a guy that you you want to play with. He's a guy that you want in your secondary. Uh, not only that, he's just somebody that you would want to be a friend off the field. So I just say he's a great dude, and I think that that carries on on the field and off the field. I love playing with him. Um, talking to a lot of your teammates, they've sort of shared moments of how he shows he cares about his teammates, sometimes in maybe subtle ways. Yeah. Um, how does he show he cares about his teammates? I mean, he does he does it in a lot of ways. I mean, he just just the small details of you maybe inviting people to come out to eat or, you know, trying to get the teammates to get together off of the field so we have some more time, just things like that. You know, he invites players to his house all the time, so a lot of those. And and then um, after the game when you guys are on, like, the plane and stuff, does he move around a little bit um, other than other instead of staying up front? Yeah, he, he tends to, like, kind of go around the whole plane. I think he kind of, like, goes and talks to everybody and – you know, just tries to make sure everybody's straight, win, lose, or draw. He's always the same person. So that's one thing that I can learn from him and that I always try to strive to just try to be as even kill as he is.